Pennsylvania and Delaware. And um, I finally got my GoPro working. I had to buy an external charger for it to charge the battery. So if you have a, an old GoPro 3 uh, for parts, uh, let me know. If you've got an old GoPro that you just want to get rid of, let me know too. Um, I still haven't gotten my uh, DLS, DSLR um, fixed yet, but it's just a trip to the hardware store. It just haven't been. I promised you a couple weeks ago I'd do clarified, but I'm going to do it now. This is about an hour and a half situation, but most of it is cooking or resting before you pour it in to your jar. This is what I made first. Uh, I need to replenish it. So one pound of butter will go in a pint uh, mason jar. Two pounds of butter will go in a quart mason jar. Simple as that. Not a big deal. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on oh, about medium high. We're going to bring it to a boil. Uh, yes, a boil. Uh, what we want to do is start to get the, the water out of the, the uh, butter. Um, and then uh, we want to boil this for about 10 minutes for a pound, probably 15 minutes for two pounds. We'll see about that. Uh, but we'll be back in a minute once this gets going, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, we're about uh, 10 minutes later. We're just starting to come to a boil right now. Uh, still got a little bit of solid right here. Um, but uh, you can see it's really foamy on top. Uh, that's what we want. We want to keep it that way. When this drops, or starts to drop basically, uh, you want to stir it a little bit in the meantime, uh, but when it starts to drop is when we want to move it over to uh, a clear container. Uh, I'm sorry, the milk solid burns, the butter will um, invite uh, spoilage. Sorry about that. So here we have boiling. We're going to let it go, and I'll bring it back in a few minutes when this is dropped. But I just bring it back. That's two or three minutes later, maybe five minutes. I'm not keeping track of time very well, am I? Uh, you can see it's really a vigorous boil. I turn my uh, burner down to medium because I can contain a boil. I can continue a boil on medium. I just wanted to take a look at it. This is fine. All this, the steam is the water boiling off. Um, somebody had asked, <coughs> not one of you, but <coughs> I have a video on ghee. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a video on ghee. Why don't I just make more ghee? Um, and I can do that with this, doing the same basic principle, a couple of changes. One, you boil this for a lot longer until the whey entirely collapses to the bottom and starts to burn. It's got a nut of your taste. Um, you burn off all the water. Uh, we're we're going to be scooping some out. So you've got a really, really, really clarified butter in clarified butter, which is still its original yellow color without being uh, turned a little bit nuttier. They both have their uses. They're both delicious. Um, this is more for cooking. Ghee is more for eating. But uh, you can do either one with either one. So uh, that's the difference. We'll bring it back in a little bit. Okay. Uh, we're about maybe 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes in. And you can see uh, the uh, way it started to collapse. In about another minute or two, there'll be uh, way against the side and just basically a big hole in the middle. That's where we're going to throw it into our uh, jar into a jar, Jesus, into our measuring, uh, our clear measuring cup uh, to let it rest. You can see here we're starting to get, uh, we're starting to clear up. So we're just about there, give it take a minute, and we'll bring it back. All right, like I said, a minute, it's been a minute later. Um, here we got clear top with the way, now if this is going to be ghee, we continue doing this to all the way falls to the bottom and starts to brown up. That's going to give it the nuttier taste, but we're not doing ghee, we're doing clarified butter. So, into our uh, measuring cup with it. Got almost nothing at the bottom, which is what we're supposed to have. And uh, we've already started to clarify a little bit because the way all fell to the bottom. Hang on a second, I'm going to get this out of here. You can see how we're doing here. Now in about an hour we're going to come back. We're going to uh, remove whatever water is left on the top. Going to give it time to settle. Whatever way is left at the top, most of it will be at the bottom or maybe a little bit on the top. And then uh, we're going to uh, pour it in with our previous. So we'll be back in uh, whatever it takes. Maybe an hour, hour and a half, 45 minutes, whatever. But uh, we'll check you out. See you in a couple minutes. 
Okay, it's been 55 minutes. I came in to check on it and take a look at that. That is uh, excellent, actually. Take a look at the top. And we're going to be scooping all that stuff out in a second. Uh, I'm going to put the camera back in the stand, and then um, we'll be back. All right, our, our uh, clarified butter is still warm. It's just warm, not hot. It is 81 degrees, so it's fine. We're going to be scooping off all this stuff in the top. I can't show this to you on the screen, but uh, when I'm done with it, you'll see it in person, but I, I, it's just so fine, it's not going to show up on the, on the camera. Um, don't be stingy about worrying about uh, getting rid of uh, a couple of gram, a couple of uh, tenths of an ounce of, of uh, butter along with it. It doesn't really matter that much. It's easy to make. By the way, speaking of ghee, my wife and I were in the store the other day, and I happened to see ghee on the shelf, so I looked at it. It was, I think, eight ounces of ghee. They wanted ten dollars for it. $10. It's ridiculous. All right, now we're going to, I think I showed you the bottom. We're not going to agitate this too much, but uh, you saw it. We're going to try to pour this through a fine sieve uh, with cheesecloth in it also, just until we see the uh, bottom stuff coming out. The uh, milk fat. We don't want that in our in our clarified butter at all. So we have got both our pouring abilities, which admittedly mine suck. Um, and we have the uh, that's just about all of it. All but a fraction, and we're not going to worry about a fraction. We're going to get a little bit more. I think we bought this for $2.50 or $2.99, so that and a little bit of heat is what it cost us to make clarified butter. And I've got butter in the bottom still, so uh, that's what you're seeing, you're not seeing milk cut. But that is clarified butter. $2.99 plus probably $0.10 cents worth of electricity. Um, I probably, I don't think I mentioned this, the smoke point of this guy is, I believe, 482 or 485 degrees. It's extremely high, so you can use this in place of any, uh, any other type of oil that you use. So not only do you get the same effect, you also get the flavor. So, um, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time on The Angry Cook.